What's up and welcome to the channel. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your video from your phone to the big screen. I'm gonna show you a few different options of how to do this and it's really easy. So let's get started. Okay, so the purpose of this video is we want to be able to watch what we're seeing on our phone. We want to be able to see that on the TV. And that's got plenty of good uses. You want to show somebody pictures or you just want to watch a video on your phone or there's a certain application that you want to watch on your TV. It's got plenty of different you know, uses. So I'm going to show you how to do it and it's super easy. How I figured out is basically there's two different options how we can do this. And both options involve buying something. So this is the easiest one. It's, there's a wired and a wireless option. So the wired option is with this Belkin adapter. And as you can see right there, it's got an iPhone adapter and it's got a HDMI. And they make these for different phones. Uh, Android, iPhone, probably make them for anything, USB type C. So just look which one you need. There are knockoff versions of the Belkin, but I found some of them don't work properly. The sound uh, doesn't work and it's just a subpar quality. So this is the best one that I know of so far, the Belkin adapter. So this method's super easy to set up. You just plug in your Belkin adapter into your phone, iPhone or Android, they make them all different. I'm gonna put the link for this device, this adapter in the comments or sorry, in the description. So take a look down there, it's about 40 bucks around there, but if you do get the knockoff version, the quality sucks. So definitely get the good version. It's not, it's not the cheapest. Well, actually, both of these options are around the same price, the wireless and the wired. This option, uh, it's a lot easier, I'd say, because you plug it in and it just works. The wired option could give you some headaches, but they're both good options. So you just plug it in, we come over here and we got our HDMI cord, simple as that. We just plug it into the bottom of our adapter, just like this, we got our adapter. We plug that in and it should come up right on the screen. That's perfect. And you can actually see in the top, it knows that it's plugged in. So now all we have to do is go down to here. And all we have to do is turn this sideways. Now we're watching what we're watching on our phone through the, um, through the TV. It's that easy, it's awesome. And another great option with this is if you wanted to, you can also charge your phone at the same time as watching it. You can have two cables going in there and you can actually charge your phone while you're watching it on the screen. Let's say your TV um, it doesn't, it's not a smart TV or for some reason you just want to do this. There's lots of reasons you might want to. So that's an option. Now, option number two, how to get your phone on the TV is you can do it, do it like this. You can get an Apple box, Apple TV. That works if you have an iPhone because you can do something called AirPlay and that uh, will stream it there. But today we're going to use... Um, this, it's compatible with any phone. It's the Google Chromecast. So this is only about 30 or 40 bucks and it's got an HDMI and it plugs directly into your TV. And this is the wireless version. You're gonna have to plug this into the wall and power this up and it's gonna take a couple minutes to set up, but it's an easy option as well. So let's check that out. So here I am installing it, it's simple. Just plug the HDMI into the back of, in my case, I'm running it through the stereo. So I plug it in the back of the stereo HDMI, then I plug the power into the outlet. And if you needed to, you could plug it in the back of your TV directly in the HDMI port on your TV. All right, so we got our Chromecast all set up. Now all we do is make sure they're both on the same network and it's a little complicated to get it all set up, so that could be on a different video. And also it comes with instructions, but you basically just make sure they're both in the same network. And it's this easy, play. 
and there it goes right on the TV and uh, now we can control it pause pause it play it and fast forward it if we wanted to and control it fully from your phone all right so i hope you enjoyed the video on how to watch your phone screen on your tv there may be other ways to do this if you know other ways let me know in the comments i'll look into some different ways there's plenty of useful things that this can be used for so any questions at all let me know in the comments and until next time this is the review king signing out so quick recap the belkin adapter i love it the downsides are it's wired but it's easy to use love it the other option the chromecast it's an awesome option a little bit of a pain in the butt to set up sometimes but also a great option